Sometimes it's funny because Ravens are like like an ex girlfriend to where y'all broke up, but they still be looking at pictures, looking at old pictures of when y'all were together, reminiscing on all the good times, missing you like, oh, wow, I wonder how they're doing right now. I hope they still think about me because I still think about them. And then they like the aggressive ex-girlfriend because they like, you know what? Let me go try to get him back because this is what happened with Brent Urban. The Ravens are signing uh, Brent Urban, <laughs> the defensive end, to a one-year deal. Uh, now, with Brent Urban, let's see where he was after Baltimore because he went to uh, – I just remember him in Chicago. I didn't even realize that he went to Tennessee too. Um, and he – oh, he played for Dallas last year. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So he done went to some different markets, Bears, Titans, Cowboys. And then Brent Urban probably was looking around like, man. It wasn't nothing like when I was with the Ravens. It wasn't nothing like it. And then now he will be entering a, a brand new era of the Baltimore Ravens because back when he was playing, uh, they were being led by Joe Flacco. Now, of course, uh, his last year was Lamar Jackson's first, so it hasn't been too long, but now it's like really Lamar Jackson in charge. So with Brent Urban... Um, I would think this move would mean a couple of things. First and foremost, I wonder what this move means for Derek Wolf. Wonder what it means for Derek Wolf. Because Brent Urban, sort of a defensive end edge guy, and uh Derek Wolf is sort of that defensive end. So they they really play a similar style, similar role on defense in my opinion. So I wonder if this is the Ravens saying, you know what? We done a we done, we done had it We're done um, We just Nah we, We're good I don't know I don't know That's one of the first things That crossed my mind though But Because I, I We just don't know What the status of Derek Wolf is And he still got time um, This could also be the Ravens Staying ready So they ain't gotta get ready This could be the way The Ravens are like Hey We just wanna be prepared Just in case Cause we don't know How his recovery is gonna be So let's protect ourselves and let's just, let's take care of it. Let's be proactive instead of reactive. Is it reactive? I think it's reactive. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So I guess I, I guess that's approval for the this Brent Urban signing. Okay, okay. Anyway, um, so the Ravens, they trying to take care of business Early, it could be them trying to take care of business early rather than later. Um, because Brent Urban he give he he brings somebody that uh they got an extra field goal blocker now, too. Now, on field goal blocks, you bring Calais Campbell and you bring Brent Urban out there. We nobody's ever gonna kick a field goal on us ever. Uh, extra point, the 25 yard field goal, certainly not a 35 yarder, definitely not no 45 yard, and anything past 45, you just bring the punt unit out or go for it on fourth down. Because literally all that Brent Urban and Calais Campbell got to do, just go like that. They ain't even got to lift both of their hands up. You could have one of them lined up on each side. One could lift up his right arm and the other could lift up his left arm. It's getting blocked. It's a guaranteed block literally every single time. But anyway, um, so Brent Urban, it's, I would think whenever the contract details come out, vet minimum, it's, it's not going to be anything crazy. It ain't going to be anything wild. Ain't gonna be anything was like, oh my goodness, where'd all that money come from? No, it's, it's really not. Um, so yeah, and I guess, you know, I, I was thinking like, oh man, I wonder what roster spot's gonna have to get created in order for Brent Urban to join the squad, but Sam Cook retiring, that opens up a roster spot for Brent Urban. So we don't even have to go through the whole process of wondering like, oh man, who's it gonna be? Because that's what a lot of us were thinking last time when, um, when they signed Mike Davis. They signed a running back, Mike Davis, former Atlanta Falcon, former 49er, former some other teams too. But when they signed him, a lot of us said, oh, okay, who's going to be the odd man out? But then they end up, they were like, all right, Tyson, we issued you a tender, but we taking it back. Because Tyson hadn't signed his tender yet. Uh, so anyway, um, this gives the Ravens uh, another veteran uh, at defensive end. Uh, and again, we talked about it at the beginning of the video. Ravens, they, they love getting that old thing back. They love it. Because, excuse me, they did the same thing with Pernell McPhee. 
They did the same thing. They they they, they came back around. They're like, oh, we we missed you. You you've been gone for a couple of years. You know what? Come home, come home. We miss you. They did the same thing with Tony Jefferson last year. They had cut him back in twenty eighteen or was it nineteen? I don't even remember what year they cut him in. Then this year they were like, man, they were they were down bad on safeties, man. And on secondary, just period. They were like Tony. Come home, please. We we miss you. It, it's it's been a couple years. Come back home. So dinner's on the stove. But yeah. So Brent Urban is back. Good for him that he will uh be familiar with the coaching staff. Be familiar with a lot of the of the team. Well, actually, he won't be familiar with a lot of the players on the team because a lot of them are different. But he'll be familiar with enough of the coaching staff. And if he's not, he can get acclimated. I'm sure, it won't be hard for Mister Urban Legend, Brent Urban. Um. Another thing too, this signing uh, it it doesn't guarantee him a roster spot. Just because they sign him, it doesn't mean like oh okay, Brent Urban's for sure about to make this roster. It doesn't mean that. Now again, let's watch what happens with Derek Wolf because there could be a little telling. Now I believe if for Derek Wolf, if they would have cut him before. Um, they would have lost more money than they gained. But with Derek Wolf, I believe with a post June 1st, they wouldn't gain much, but they could gain a little something. It wouldn't be much, but it would be they because before before June 1st, if it would have been a, a, a pre June 1st cut, then I believe they would they would have lost more than they gained. So it'd, they would have been in the negatives for the move, not overall cap space. But post June 1st, it will be a positive move. But I feel like, like right now, you wouldn't even need to do that. I feel like you wouldn't need to. Like with Derek Wolf, I feel like you should just, uh, just wait and see. Now it all depends on what, what if, and I don't even want to think about that. But either way, because um, I would feel like, all right, load up the roster as much as you can, and then hopefully you have to make some hard decisions when it comes to people getting cut, um, because it's decided by game. And it's, it's not decided by injury. Because, again, that's what we hope for every single year with every single team that these roster spots are decided by players. Oh, man, this dude's a baller. Oh, this dude's a baller, too. But, oh, we got to pick which one we keep. We got to pick which one starts, which one stays. Ah, that's tough. That's what we always hope for. But, you know, life in the NFL, people be getting hurt. And it's it's the unfortunate part of the business. Um, So we'll see what happens with that. But, anyway... Urban Legend is back. Brent Urban back in the building. Um, we back on the video again. I didn't think we were going to see y'all so soon after that Lamar Jackson video. But here we are. Here we are. Ravens like doing this type of stuff where they just drop this random news on a Friday evening. They're like, hey, there you go. There you go, team. Keep it clean. There you go, all Ravens fans. Ha. We signed somebody because we know y'all be waiting and watching every single person who we signed. There you go. So, there we go. Um, but anyway, love y'all team. Keep it clean. Um, if you're expecting from Brent Urban uh, a bunch of sacks, that's not his game. That's not him. Uh, Brent Urban is um, good in run support. He's not a pass rusher. Good in run support. He'll help set, set the edge. But he, he's not a pass rusher. That's not his style of play. I told y'all. Run stuffer. Field goal blocker uh, and, and short pass blocker too Brent Urban put his hand up in the lane Oh yeah and, ooh, and imagine if it's a shorter quarterback too Ooh, Even if it's a taller quarterback Brent Urban is a giant Again him and Calais Campbell Don't just pair them up on field goal blocks Pair them up just on regular plays too On defense uh, Passing plays man. You get in a third and three situation Think about this. You got these guys that could stop the run, but also if it's a pass, it's third and three, short yardage. Put them in on the goal line. Goal line where offenses they try to throw in some passes here and there. Now. All they gotta do that's all they got on the goal line. Just all they gotta do is go like that. That that third and goal from the three yard line where the, they ain't running. All Brent Urban and Calais Campbell gotta do is go like that. It's going to get swatted by one of the two. One of the two. And if it don't get swatted by them, Marcus Peters, he'll pick it off. Marcus Williams, he'll pick it off. 
Marlon Humphrey, he'll try to pick it off, but he'll drop it. Chuck Clark will drop it. So either way, it's going to be an incompletion by the opposing team's offense. So we'll be straight on defense. Good move by the Ravens picking up that old thing. 